Our attentions quickly turned to this Saturday's FA Cup first round proper clash with Chelmsford. John, how have the preparations been this week? Yeah, very good. Uh, because of the, the Friday night schedule, uh, I was fortunate enough to see uh, Chelmsford play on on Saturday, so I had a good look at them there, and obviously we've done our homework on, on them, so uh, preparation's going well. The National League is a relentless league. Is the FA Cup a welcome distraction this weekend? Uh, I'm not sure about a welcome distraction, but it's it's just an exciting extra, uh, distraction, if you like. Um, distraction, game, I don't know what you call it, but uh, you know I'm, I'm old school and I love the FA Cup, and it's still very important to teams of our ilk, and, uh, and certainly teams like Chelmsford. Chelmsford are in fine form this season, having only lost two games. What sort of challenge are they going to pose here tomorrow? Uh, well, there's one thing for sure. They've certainly got some height in the team. They're a very big team. They're a well-organised team. Robbie Simpson's got them well-organised. They pose a threat at, uh, at set place. And, and you know what? They've got some good experience in there. Obviously, I've worked with Simeon Jackson in the past, who's had a terrific career, and uh, obviously the likes of Trotter as well. So they've got some good experience. at Other uh, players that have played league football. So, um, you know, they, they've got some good experience in there. Uh, and they fully merited their uh, position in the, in, the, in the Conference South. You mentioned Simeon Jackson there. How do we stop someone with who's got Premier League experience and experience in the Bundesliga? How do we stop a threat like that? Uh, listen, we, we've also got some good players as well, so let's not forget that. And um, but but you know the, the thing is, if we're well organised and, and we we go out with a winning mentality and we play at the tempo we're capable of, you know it's it's more a case of what we're going to you know, pose the problems we're going to pose to them rather than us uh, that them posing us the uh, problems. But so um, you know I'd like to think that uh, we we keep to our game plan and we and we give them the problems rather than worry too much about them. We've got two two away trips next week to Manchester, Altrincham and Oldham. Will there be any squad rotation for tomorrow? Um, no, you know, the squad's a squad and it's picking itself at the moment. I think uh, it's obviously we've got uh, the welcome boost of having Gormo back. Uh, so we look forward to bringing him back in into the, the fray. Um, but no, no, you know, we're, 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 we're picking a team that's going to hopefully give them problems, as I say, and a team that's going to win win tomorrow. So, so that's first and foremost. Uh, and then we'll look at it uh, there on after and, 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 you know, we're only one game at a time. So I think we'll look at the Altrincham and Oldham games there on after and see how we go after this. And, you know, hopefully we'll be injury free going into those games. And finally, is there any fresh team news concerns going into tomorrow? Uh, no, I've just mentioned Gormo's come back after uh, his suspension. Other than that, we're, we're in a, g a good good shape. Um, we've got one or two niggles and we'll, we'll, we'll weigh them up. Uh, later, to, you know, even as late as to, tomorrow. So I think we're going to be in good shape in terms of uh, selection, team selection, and um, you know we're really looking forward to this game. Bring it on, John. Thanks for your time.